At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is brought to you in part by One Nevada Credit Union, where right now you can refinance your auto loan with rates as low as 2.98% and no payments for 90 days for qualified members. Call us today for details. News is also brought to you by Capriati Sandwich Shop, located in the Pahrump Nugget Casino. Call us at 775-751-3354 to order ahead. News is also brought to you by Hope Counseling Services, where we specialize in behavioral health, inspiring hope for a brighter tomorrow. Call 775-727-0101 for more information. Tonight on News 46, a body is found in the desert. A missing teenager is returned home safe. And two rollovers and a vehicle versus borough accident this holiday weekend. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Zach Fuentes and Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. And good evening. It's Tuesday, September 4th, 2012. I'm Zach Quintus. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. The body of a 49-year-old man was found in the desert off Basin and Banovich Friday night. Detectives and deputies from the Nye County Sheriff's Office were dispatched on Friday night to the area of Betty and Murphy between Banovich and Basin out in the desert for a resident who was apparently walking his dogs and found human remains. During the subsequent investigation, the deceased person was tentatively identified as 49-year-old David Edward Pucci of Pahrump, although final confirmation is pending a DNA analysis. The circumstances and cause of his death are under investigation, as is the reason why his body was found in that particular location several miles from his home, which is apparently located on Greta Street. This is an active investigation. Further details are being withheld. Detective Michael Eisenlawful and other deputies were in the area. The majority of Friday night until the mortuary removed the remains. They returned once again on Saturday morning to further investigate the area in the daylight. We don't know how long the body was actually out in the desert or if this person was even reported missing. However, they did visit an address on Greta Street. Whether that was for notification or further investigation, we are unsure at this point. We are waiting for the Knight County Sheriff's Office to come back with that DNA evidence to confirm the identity of this victim. We'll keep you posted. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And anyone with information about David Pucci and or pertaining to this case is urged to contact Detective Michael Eisenlawful at the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 751-7000. The 17-year-old Henderson teen Melissa Duran was returned home after being held captive for 21 hours. Police say the teen was located around 4.20 Saturday morning. The two men who abducted the teenager around 7.30 on Friday morning have been taken into custody. Melissa said the whole ordeal began when a man came to the door and threw sand in her eyes. Police say the abduction was also a plot for ransom. The two men at one point apparently worked for Melissa's dad's landscaping business. After a multi-state amber alert for her and a vehicle used in the abduction, police say the vehicle was located after it was set on fire in the Sunrise Mountains. The vehicle registration led police to an address at an apartment complex on Flower Street near Eastern and Stewart. Melissa said she was grabbed and placed in the car and blindfolded by two men who police identified as 25-year-old Alejandro Sanchez and 30-year-old Cesar Sanchez. After arriving at the apartment complex, Duran said the men tried calling her parents and asking for a certain amount of money. The two men who are suspected of abducting Melissa were in court this morning as Melissa was returning to school. Alejandro Manuel Sanchez and Cesar Sanchez face multiple charges. There's also said to be an immigration hold on the men. 
Melissa said that she was considering a career in law enforcement, and this incident has pushed her even more so to do it. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. All right, folks, we'll keep it here. We'll have more news for you after this break. Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. And welcome back. One man was transported after flipping his truck on Dandelion near Idaho Street Sunday afternoon. Tonight's accident report is brought to you by Stovall & Associates. Don't expect insurance companies to have your best interest in mind. Stovall & Associates cares. Let us help you if you have been involved in an accident. A little after 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon, a single vehicle rollover occurred here on Dandelion and Idaho Street. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue arrived on scene along with Nye County Sheriff's deputies to find the truck resting on its side. We're going to speak to Fire Chief Scott Lewis. We were dispatched for a report of a rollover with the vehicle resting on its side. Uh, there was unknown status as to whether the occupant had been out of the vehicle at the time of the dispatch. Upon my arrival, in fact, found the accident as described with the vehicle still remaining resting on its side. A number of the uh, people that were on scene indicated that the occupant was still inside the vehicle. Upon the scene assessment, we found, in fact, that there was, and he was unable to egress on his own. So we upgraded the assignment to a rescue, bringing the, the heavy rescue and uh, two ambulances and an engine company. Upon the assessment, we then completed a modified roof removal, allowing us access to both the patient, and number two is to allow us to safely remove him from the vehicle. He was thus transported to the scene from, by Medic 3. You stabilized the vehicle. Absolutely, the vehicle needed to be stabilized in order to complete the evolutions. Upon our arrival, we found that someone had opened the door on the top, which uh, added a little bit of the dynamics to the extrication, but we worked around it, and uh, the extrication was successful, and the patient was removed. One occupant? One occupant. And uh, was do you know if he was seat belted in? Unknown status at this point. Nye County Sheriff's deputies have blocked the roadway. Is there any further that you guys will be conducting here? No, we're actually going to be uh, remaining on location for a, a small fuel spill and also just to wait to make sure the vehicle is uprighted safely. And he was transported locally? Uh, the best of my knowledge, he's going to be transported locally, yes. And the family of that driver and only occupant arrived on scene here. It happened to be Judge Robert Lane's father who was injured in this accident. He was once again transported to Desert View Hospital with injuries he sustained. This is Deanna O'Donnell on Dandelion and Idaho Street for News 46. And Nye County Sheriff's deputies suspect that the driver of a passenger vehicle may have been driving under the influence when he rolled his vehicle into a garden on Pahrump Valley Boulevard Saturday morning. A single vehicle rollover occurred on Pahrump Valley Boulevard near Thousand Air in the early morning hours on Saturday morning. Nye County Sheriff's deputies and Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue were dispatched to the area where a vehicle lay on its roof in the garden area near a home facing Pahrump Valley Boulevard. According to reports, the male driver and only occupant of the car walked down to a local gas station to report that he was ejected from a vehicle and that his shoulder was injured. Upon arrival, Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue found that the man needed further medical care and ordered him to be airlifted via Mercy Air to UMC Trauma Center in Las Vegas. Deputies ordered a blood draw on the man to ascertain if he was under the influence. Apparently, the man was released from the hospital the next day. Nye County Sheriff's deputies are investigating. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. A burro was struck and killed on Highway 160 in Simpkins yesterday. Approximately 3.30 a.m. Monday morning, a vehicle versus burro accident occurred on Highway 160 near Simpkins. Nye County Sheriff's deputies responded to the scene. It's not clear at this point if anyone inside the vehicle was injured. However, Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating the accident in which the borough sustained fatal injuries. The next day, Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue, Nye County Sheriff's deputies, and Nevada Highway Patrol were dispatched to the same scene where they thought that the accident had just occurred. Apparently, the driver of the vehicle had left their vehicle on the roadway and did not have it towed away. Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating this accident. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. 
And folks, keep it here because we'll have more news for you after this break.